How you doing, Mr. President? Hi, Kelly. Um, one of the many great things you did in your first term was put America first. One of the right. many, many great things you did. That isn't the case in the last few years, which is evident with the unnecessary billions of dollars in foreign aid we have given specifically to Ukraine. So what is going to be the solution to fix all of that spending? Well, thank you very much, Kelly. Appreciate it. I like that question. I like this guy. I can tell. <laughs> He's a man of common sense. I'm a man of common sense. You know, they say you're conservative, you're, you're liberal, you're this, you're that. No. We're people of common sense. We need borders. We don't want to give foreign aid to countries that hate us. I mean, we're giving foreign aid to countries that hate us. If you look at the numbers in terms of the billions and even trillions of dollars that we give to foreign aid, of foreign aid, and yet we don't protect our own border, we don't protect our own military, we have the greatest, you know, I knocked out ISIS. Everyone said it would take four years. It took me three months to knock out, totally decimate ISIS. We took out Soleimani. We took out al-Baghdadi. We did a job like nobody's ever done. So you wouldn't, you wouldn't be in favor of giving $60 billion more for Ukraine? Because no. they said without that money, Ukraine mm -hmm. will definitely lose the war, which would then empower Vladimir Putin and yeah. endanger I feel um, so our bad. allies. And I guess the thing that bothers me most. It would have never happened if I were president. Well, it did it happen, never so happened. what are you going to no, do about it, it? But it would have never happened. Putin would have never done it for two reasons. Number one, I said, don't do it. He would never have done it. And the other reason was oil prices were low. At $40 a barrel, no. it doesn't work. What would you At do $100 now? a barrel, he made a fortune during this war. So what I would do is, first thing I get on the phone is with the European nations, who are in for 25 percent of what we're in. We're in for over $200 billion. They're in for $35 billion. We spent about $100 billion so far, but it will be $160. It's, it's a difference of $150 billion. They've got to start paying up. You know, it affects them much more than it affects us. We have an ocean in between us. They don't have that ocean in between. They have to start paying up. And you know the, why they haven't paid? Because nobody asked him. Biden doesn't call. Does Biden lie awake at night, sleeping, tursing? Tur he turns for another reason, not for the reason we're talking about. <laughs> sweating, saying, we got to get more. We've got to get them to pay up because there's $150 billion difference. I feel very bad. Remember this. You're really up against a war machine in Russia. Russia, what they do, they defeated Hitler, they defeated Napoleon. You know, they're a war machine. They're a much bigger country. Uh, Orban, who I think is a fantastic guy, a lot of people don't like him because he's a little bit on the tough side. He is the uh, prime minister of Hungary. And he said, and he came out very strongly, they asked him, what's going on? The whole world is collapsing. He said, if the United States elects Donald Trump, it'll all end. Everybody was afraid of Donald Trump. <laughs> It'll all end. And I believe that's true. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.